Okay, and just like with flexion, we want to stabilize the scapula with our towel rolls. Okay, so I'm just going to lift her arm up and kind of shove that in there a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use my Igoni first, but before that, let's set up our zero. So, can someone tell me where our fulcrum is going to be? On page 72. No. Anterior aspect of the acromial process. Anterior aspect of the acromial process. And where's our stationary arm? Parallel to the midline of the sternum. Of the sternum. So oh, the midline sternum. of the sternum, just you know, in case the trunk is curved, keeping that stationary arm parallel. Okay. Okay, and then moving arm. Anterior midline of the humerus. Anterior midline of the humerus to the medial epicondyle. Medial epicondyle, because once their arm is up here, you're going to be looking at the medial epicondyle. Okay, so we're starting off with this is our zero. So what numbers are we looking at? Right here. And then as they abduct overhead, we're going to follow these numbers up. And what is normal? In the back of the book. Same as flexion. 185. 180. Okay, so. I'm going to start bringing her around. Now, I'm going to be very careful to keep her arm in the same plane. If I let the elbow drop, we've gone into relative extension. If I bring the elbow up too high, we're going into horizontal adduction. So you want to keep this arm in the same frontal plane to make a pure abduction motion. Okay, so I'm bringing her up. And notice how I'm cradling, and now I don't even need my other hand. Or if I notice her shoulder coming up, I can help keep it down. Okay, and I'm still supporting the humerus. Okay, so I'm going to bring her up, keeping her in the same plane. Yeah, so she starts to have resistance. Okay, so I want you to stop as soon as you start to feel a little bit of resistance. Okay, so I could push her a little bit more, but we're getting a little bit more scapular motion. Is that okay? Okay, so as soon as you start to feel resistance, that's when you're going to stop. Some of you, you may not feel resistance. Like I bet Tina and Lauren don't have it. They look hypermobile. It's nice and close to me. Okay, take her arm again. Again, I'm watching to make sure I'm in the correct plane. I'm not letting her sh entire shoulder elevate. Okay, so if I need to keep it down, I can. And I'm bringing it up. And I want to stop about right there. And I'm going to keep it here, okay, because we're in this plane. So don't switch and do your flexion plane, because that's not what we're measuring. Okay, and I barely have to move it. And we got 132. Okay, so 